What's up everybody, it's Warren, and today we have a theory that, at first glance, you may not think it's plausible, but when you dive into it and you look at the facts of the MCU and the logic and the reasoning behind it, it actually makes a lot of sense. And it could be that the writers and the directors of previous MCU films throughout this past 10 years have been hiding a major easter egg from all of us. In fact, we know that James Gunn has said there is still one easter egg in Guardians of the Galaxy that nobody has figured out yet. And could that easter egg be that Star-Lord is actually actually the grandson of Captain America Steve Rogers himself. So we're going to dive into this theory and how it makes perfect sense and how this could be that final missing easter egg. But real quick, I'm giving away an Xbox One or a PS4 to a winner of my giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed with notifications turned on, like this video, and comment down below. So this theory originally comes from reddit user chill underscore bishop. And like I said, the theory is that Captain America is the biological grandfather of Quill, Star-Lord. And this theory is based off of the actress Laura Haddock, who plays Meredith, who is Quill's mother. Now, she's in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Volume 2 as Quill's mother, but she's actually in another MCU film. She is in Captain America The First Avenger. In Captain America The First Avenger, when Steve Rogers is going on tour, he goes town to town, city to city, and when he gets to St. Louis, he meets a blonde girl who basically makes his jaw drop. This is Laura Haddock, the same person that plays Quill's mother in Guardians Volume 1 and Volume 2. What's also interesting about this is that every other town that Steve stops in was displayed on the screen except for the one where he meets her in St. Louis. So the theory is, is that this is actually Quill's grandmother and she ended up getting with Steve Rogers that night and ended up getting pregnant. Now, as I mentioned, there is a lot to back this up, so stick with me. So Captain America and this woman would have had a child, which would have been Peter's mother. Then Peter Quill's mother would go on to eventually have a child with Ego. And of course that child is Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord. And as we learned from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Peter was the only one of Ego's millions of kids who had that inner light in him. And if Peter is just a normal person, why didn't he die like all of the other kids that Ego had? Literally millions of kids. Well, it's possible that he was able to survive and had that inner light because he has some super soldier serum in him. And not only that, but the timeline and the age of the actress matches up too. Grandma has Meredith in the mid 40s when Peter was a young boy in the late 70s, early 80s, and the actress was 30 to 31 when filming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in the scenes where she meets Ego. So the timeline lines up perfectly for this to be true. And as this Redditor states, Marvel does everything on purpose with a reason. Why would they cast the same actress to play both of these roles? Well, it is worth noting that Peter's grandmother, Meredith's mother, is not in the hospital when she dies in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. Now, Peter's grandfather is there, but there is a pretty clear explanation for this if this theory is true. Peter's grandmother got pregnant and she met another man after she was pregnant or after she already had the baby. This happens all the time in real life, so it was a perfect explanation. But again, it all comes back to the fact that Laura Haddock plays this woman in Captain America The First Avenger and plays Meredith, Quill's mother in Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. And Star-Lord was the only one out of millions of kids who had that inner light that Ego was looking for. And think about that, literally millions of kids. All of different species, all of different ages, out of all these millions of kids, Quill was the only one who had that light. And could it be due to the fact that his grandfather was Steve Rogers, Captain America, and that he has super soldier serum in his blood? Now, of course, Marvel could have simply cast Laura Haddock for both of these roles, not thinking anything about it, and Peter simply could just have been that one in a million. But I definitely think that it would be insane if Steve Rogers was the grandfather of Peter Quill, and as I mentioned, James Gunn said there is still one Easter egg in Guardians of the Galaxy that has not been discovered. Perhaps this is it. Do you think this is true? Let me know your thoughts about this theory in the comments down below. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and like this video to enter my giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox One or a PS4. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.